In 2022, Guazan Hotel was hit by heavy rains, which led to floods that caused havoc for families, schools, companies, just to mention a few. Damaged schools left learners, though, with nowhere to go, according to the report by the Health Minister, Dr. Joel Pasha. More than 630 schools were affected by the floods, with 101 of them being inaccessible and 124 suffering extensive damage, while Guazan Hotel Education MEC Guazim Sheungu said it will need over 400 and 40 million rands to fix school infrastructure, an amount that is expected to increase. But amid all of this uh, came a good Samaritan, Dale Van Black, who has embarked on a walk from Johannesburg to Durban to raise funds and is asking for donations for the schools affected. Van Black uh, joins us now to talk about his initiative. A very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, are, you, are you still walking? Are you taking a rest? I'm just wondering. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually on my last day tomorrow. Um, I would have completed 25 days. I started on the 4th of January and um, yes, uh, uh, sadly, but also happily, uh, we will uh, complete that leg of the of the journey and that will be tomorrow at the school itself at Davidi School in Kloof. Mm. So, Blake, what's, what sparked off the idea? I know you're somebody who I think works within the sector. Yeah. You know, um, the thing that really sparked it off is when we visited the school and we saw the devastation that was caused by the floods, you know, um, a lot of people don't uh, understand what ha happened uh, uh, at that time uh, in April uh, 2022. And I saw that, uh, you know, first thing that went to my heart is as uh, the kids, you know, um, what, what must they feel? Um, you know, people around them died. No, it's a cross way to say it. But, and then they were traumatized. And now they're sitting with the school that's broken. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, seeing, for me, it, it's all about putting a smile back on their faces and giving them back the dignity of a, a proper school, a proper education system. And we've got all the tools to do it. Uh, we've got over 50 years of combined experience in the space of building and on uh, uh, on uh, uh, e-learning collaboration software in that with the companies uh, that we run it with, with Melody, uh, BVB Group and uh, Kumana. So, you know, um, just, just knowing that we've got the right backup to go and fix this problem has uh, really sparked it off, you know. Uh, it's easy to say, let's just do something and go out there and try and make a difference. And it will be impulsive if you don't have a right game plan to mm. do it. And we've got the most perfect game plan to, to pull this off. You know, um, like I said, uh, we've got an a alternative uh, um, uh, building uh, technology method through Melody, uh, which is 30% more affordable. Uh, we do it in a quarter of the, uh, the time. So we're not just going to demolish those broken schools. We're going to equip it with the latest technology. You know, when those students and those educators and the educators walk into that school and the community around it, will definitely and guaranteed benefit from this in such a massive way. And you know, that's the future of our, com of our country. I say, I see a vision, the only way any country in this world wants to reach a number one status. And that's what I think South Africa needs to do now, is think of a number one status. And number 10, under getting into the number 10 uh, uh, status group. Only way we're going to do that is we start working on a super generation. And we do have the talent in this country. We've proven it over and over and over uh, uh, long, all the years. And now it's our time to flourish. And uh, Del, you, you said know, we something have to very important there. And that... we've got something we've got. You said something very important there that you've got to start with a game plan, a workable one. And often, even if you do say to people, come, let's do this, people are very enthusiastic. But when it comes to uh, putting their money where their mouths are, it's a different ball game altogether. So uh, talk to me about the kind of support that you received and how did you work this, uh, you know, this walk out in terms of the kilom kilometers to be covered, who was supporting you when you were walking, how that translates into actual resources to get the schools fixed? 
My journey started last year, September already, but I've been procrastinating, an ugly word to use, but I must admit I did that. But at, uh, in January, I woke up on the 4th of January, and the voice inside of me said, you either do it now or you're never going to do this. But with that said, we've been planning and we've been working on these type of solutions for years. For years. I mean, the technology has been existing, uh, been existed for 36 years, uh, the Mulati uh, 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 solution. And with our, our software, we've been spearheading and uh, importing the latest technology for schools and education. So we've done this before and we can prove that. The thing is, that also something that you can't plan, especially the, the, the war. I just woke up and I, I woke up with Adrian in my pocket and I said to you, I, I said to you, you know, God, if this is your, your way and you want change, then I'm going to go and I'm going to trust in you. And you know what happened? Every single step that I gave, and there's so many people that I can, I want to thank South Africa for opening up their hearts and their doors for me, accommodating me, feeding me, uh, seconding me. I'm talking about guys uh, from lodges, uh, and uh, there's so many that I can uh, name, but I'll name a couple. Uh, the Toko Sons, uh, VW, that was uh, uh, just uh, seconding me. You know, the Lions Lady Group, what a magnificent group that just gives and gives and gives. We need to just understand that there's so many people out there that wants to give. In the process of us doing this, we got sponsors. You know, obviously we're looking for a cash for a cash injection to demolish and build these schools, which we are busy with, and we humbly ask all the big massive corporates to open their CSI budget for us because we will wisely spend it and we will prove that because this year is only starting now. We've got uh, guys of the Angel uh, Networks that are sponsoring all the stationery for the, the, the We've got Starboard that's sponsoring uh, a, a couple of things there. You know, Accelerate, Tommy, um, uh, it's okay, the app that we're going to give to the to the, the schools in it uh, for the students for the students use, uh, Mulani, once again. So we've got sponsors already in that has uh, um, really honestly um, uh, come to the party and backing us up because they trust in what we're doing. And uh, so far, like I said, this journey has only started now. We We've got a winning recipient here, and we are now so fat. If everybody just believes and pushes through this whole this journey to the end, we're going to be able to catch up with the schools that, so that we have to build. Uh, uh, education South Africa has been worked on properly by government in that, and I commend them for that. But there's some more work to be done, and we want to hold hands with these guys and say, come. Let's hold hands with you and let's create a super generation by building the schools and helping you uh, equip you. Just very briefly, we mentioned at the onset 630 schools that were affected by the floods. I think it's 100 on 24 of them uh, suffering extensive damage. Do you think yeah. you'll be able to spread the loot around? Would it little go to everyone or are you going to focus on the more extensively damaged? Okay, so we're focusing on the schools that's extensively damaged because we, those schools need to be demolished. You cannot go fix a school that's been cracked and been shifted on the foundations. You have to demolish them. Unfortunately, you know what? That was an act of God. Okay, yes, we take it like that. We take it on the chin. But then God sends his angels to recover it. And we want to look at, we want to offer that type of service. Just remember one thing. This journey is only starting. Once I arrive in two of tomorrow, I'm going to keep on move, walking from school to school to see what the damage is. So I'm going to be actively uh, 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 busy going from school to school, analyzing, helping uh, the government and the people of South Africa fix up this problem. Yes, it's millions, hundreds of millions of rands. But you know what? With the support and with the love of South Africa, we can get this uh, 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 area sorted okay. in the blink of an eye. Del, we wish we you all really the best. This. We wish you all the best and thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, Del from Black is a campaigner. He's been walking from Johannesburg to Durban.